Hi friends, I'm Em. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a productive day. Whew, it's Friday. Uh, it's my day off. The cat is having breakfast. <laughs> if you can hear. It's December 1st um, and everything is an absolute disaster. <laughs> and so uh, this is going to kind of be a combination of a reset for the month catching up on stuff that I've been putting off, you know, just getting, getting everything kind of settled. So I just dropped my youngest off at school. I still need to do all the things. I haven't even had breakfast yet, so I need to do that first. I'm gonna split today up into two different sections. Uh, we're gonna spend the first two hours of today catching up on my reading, cleaning the house, uh, eating breakfast, getting stuff done like that, and then I'll take a break to go to the library to pick up some holds, and then we are going to spend the rest of the afternoon catching up on YouTube stuff that I have been putting off. I have a video that I need to put music to and do one more watch through before I upload it. I think I also need to make the thumbnail. And, oh, and I have to film. I have to film my monthly wrap up for November. That was the other one. Anyway, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a to-do list. I love a to-do list. This is my to-do list notebook. <laughs> That's how much I love a to-do list. It gets its own designated uh, notebook. And then um, after I make my to-do list, I am going to go ahead and I'm gonna start making my breakfast and I'm going to start laundry. So we'll make our to-do list and then I'm going to put on my headphones and I've been listening to Meat Planet, Artificial Flesh and the Future of Food by Benjamin Aldez Wurgaff. I think that's how you say his last name, but I could be wrong, uh, which has been very interesting, but it's very academic. So I like sometimes I just have to be, <laughs> I just have to let it flow over me because I, I don't know, sometimes, sometimes the language just gets so academic bro, I guess that I, <laughs> I just zone out and I just wait for, for the information to get past. And then there's other times where it's super interesting. Um, just because it's talking about meat industry and the ethics of eating meat and the environmental impact of eating meat and like but what artificial meat could offer the world and it's very interesting uh not a book i thought i would pick up but i happen to have the audio from libro because i guess the emily from 2019 thought it sounded like an interesting read so i'm gonna listen to that while i do start off on my chores and then I'm also going to put on, um, Kayla had reading sprints on Monday and I wasn't able to participate, but I'm going to put those on today just for company. And then I'm also going to try and sit down and finish I Want to Be a Wall by Honyami Shirano, which is a manga that I just got from my local indie bookstore the other day. And it's about... Uh, an asexual woman, asexual woman and a gay man who do like a marriage of convenience to kind of get their families off of their backs. It's about them just learning how to coexist with each other and how to support each other. And like he's learning about like what it's like to be asexual and what kind of support she needs in a relationship. And then she's learning like what his experience has been as a gay man and he's also in love with his straight best friend so it's got i don't know it's pretty cute so far it's funny it, they're both very awkward but um yeah i'm having a good time with it so that is the plan for the morning i'm gonna take you along with me obviously and just get this shit done
gonna do an update. I just finished recording my <laughs> wrap up. Um, so that is good. I talked for a ridiculously long time, so that will be fun to edit. Um, but I wanted to come in and talk about, or I wanted to come on and tell you that I finished Meat Planet. And I think I'm gonna give it, um, okay, why am I so having a hard time? with camera placement today. Let's try this. Ooh, is that better? Nope. Now you're too far away. Is this better? <gasps> Hi. Okay. Um, I think I gave it three stars. I think it sometime got in its own way with being too philosophical. It's like it got so wrapped up in the philosophy and the moral ideas of alternative meat that it just, <laughs> that it, got bogged down a little bit um but I could tell the author put just years and years of research and thought and care into the subject um so I don't I don't know that I would recommend it it was definitely a very like niche rabbit hole for me to decide to go down but you know that's my Enneagram 5 brain <laughs> sometimes but while I was at the library um the kids Christmas jammies got delivered and I'm so excited I love picking out the Christmas jammies every year. I usually do a different store every year as well. This year I went with Old Navy. Mostly because I could not for the life of me remember which company I used last year. Even though I really liked their jammies that they had last year. I'm going to show you. The kids don't see my channel. So I got these for, oh, for my oldest who wanted polar bear jammies. So I found these really cute pants. I mean, really what she wanted is she wanted like a polar bear onesie so she could be a polar bear, but those were all like $50. On like every website I looked at and I, I cannot do a $50 <laughs> jammy. Not, not gonna happen. Not when I have to buy three of them. And then I got her like just a white thermal shirt to go with it. So I think that'll be really cute. She's gonna look so cute. And we also talk about how she is now wearing the same size and clothes that I wear and her shoe size is bigger than mine, which is kind of upsetting. And then for my middle kid, they're the middle by a minute, but you know, I got them. Oh, these are so soft. These are like flannel joggers. With this really nice, like Christmassy plaid color. Oh, I like these so much. I hope they like them too. They're very soft, very comfy. I got them a red flannel shirt to go with them. So similar to their sisters, just different color. And then my youngest got more, I guess, traditional jammies. I got them dinosaur jammies. So it says midnight snacks and tacos, sandwich, pizza, burger, sport utility vehicle. <laughs> I think they'll get a kick out of it. They like dinosaurs. They probably would have liked it more if I'd gotten like a video game. These are the pants. If I'd gotten like a video game print, but um, they got a video game print last year, so we're expanding. <laughs> anyway, so that's my little Christmas jammy haul. Now I need to go, I need to go hide these. Um, and I'm gonna go have lunch and start editing all the footage I have and organizing it. And I ideally would, oh, I've got to switch laundry. Ideally, I would like to work out before I go pick out my pick up my youngest from school, um, which I have a little less than three hours. It just depends on if I can get if my lunch gets digested enough. If I eat now, I should be ready to work out in like an hour and a half. Yeah, I think we can do it. Okay, let's go do the things. finished Ooh, where is it I want to be a wall I really liked it it was super cute um, my only complaint is that um, they conflate or the author conflates asexuality and aromantic um, they're just kind of meshed together I would say the that uh, Eureka is aromantic and ace but um, in this book 
she's just referred to as asexual. Um, so that's my only like critique, I guess. Otherwise I thought it was really sweet. I really liked how this couple, like, even though they're not a romantic couple, how they're learning to trust each other and, um, being vulnerable with each other and talking about their past loves and past, uh, troubles and just the way that they are forging a bond. It was really sweet. I really liked it. Um, and I probably will continue on with the series. Maybe not right away. I think there's only two volumes out right now, but yeah, it was, it was a sweet little manga. I'm almost done with my to-do list. I don't know what freaking out is going to happen today. Uh, my workout is supposed to be, it's like 45 minutes long, but I got to go pick up my youngest in 30 minutes. So I don't have time to do it now. And then my twins are having friends over after school. So I just don't know. I don't know, know how realistic it's going to be for me to work out today, but I have more laundry to go and do. So I'm going to do that. There will not be footage of me doing laundry. Y'all don't need to suffer along with me.